Okay, so I didn't think I'd be doing a vlog again this soon, but I got some exciting things in the mail. And by exciting things, I mean proper binders. Um, so basically this is just going to be me doing a little rundown of the binders I have bought for myself. Now, I did spend quite a bit on them, but that is because I wanted nice binders in exchange for the one I've had for some time, and that one was starting to be very pinchy and diggy around these areas. And I don't know if I'll have that problem with these, but we'll see in the future, and I'm give or take a couple months. Um, but I had bought binders from Underworks, which I've heard about for quite some time now, and I've never really gotten around to buying one from there. So this time around I bought three. Three. And one is just the like simple one that comes down to here, I think it's called the try something. I'll put an annotation or links down in the description of what these are. Now in terms of comfort, this one is not the best one out of the three I bought, but that's okay. It does, it it does its job, and I can't really complain. <laughs> um, it does its job, so on the comfort scale compared to my last binder I've owned, this is about, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to say about a good six. Um, but that's just because these could be a little less, uh, these kind of dig a little bit, but that's perfectly fine with me. I don't mind at all because it's not as bad as my last binder, which was kind of ill-fitting and that's, yeah, not a good thing. Um, and it is a little tricky to get these on if you don't have experience with binders and I don't that have that greatest I have I had one binder in my life and a friend purchased that for me so there's that um, so yeah this one it's okay I prefer the other one and I would recommend the other one if you're not that familiar with binders and putting on binders because it's a lot easier than this one in my opinion but that might be just me and this one was about $35 in Canadian, which probably be, I want to say like 20 something in American or so. Again, if you want to look at this and you find this video and you're also looking into a binder, I'll put the link, I guess, down in the description of what this was. Now onto the next binder, which is currently, the, I'm wearing the same one. I bought two of the same kind. And I'm actually pleased with that decision because it's much more comfortable than that one. It's the uh, kind of like tank top design, which yes, it's kind of uh, sheer, so this is not wearable as a shirt unless you want to. I don't know, that's completely up to you. The front is a little more um, less transparent than the back, because it's the front is where the compression is. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10 in comfort, I'm going to say this is about mm, eight and a half to nine because it I haven't had trouble with it. I wear it all day, which is probably dangerous, but it's comfortable to the point where it doesn't cause me any problems. So I've been wearing this one for about, I have one on right now, and it, you know, it, it does its job. I'm flat, so can't complain. Um, I've been wearing it since 4 a.m. when I woke up. It is now 4 p.m. So, I mean, there's that. It's, it's comfortable enough to, for me to wear it that long. And it is just the plain black one because I don't like white <laughs> or skin tones. So, yeah. Um, it's, it's pretty durable. I mean, it's a little complicated to put on as well if you're not familiar with how to put on a binder. 
which it's quite complicated, but the easiest way I found is, and I've heard this way recommended, is you stick your legs through the leg, the neck hole, and then pull it up your body, but that requires a lot of shimmying, which if you're kind of on the bigger side, like me, it, it's a little difficult getting it past your hips and then all the way up, but you know what, it, once you start putting it on often, it gets easier. So I'm in the point where it's gotten pretty simple for me to put on and take off every day. Um, I've had these for about, I'm going to say, half a week? Somewhere around there. Um, and because I've been putting them on every day since I got them in the mail, um, I have gotten used to putting them on, which I'm glad because now I can have something comfortable to wear and pass it in, so there's that. <laughs> um, we'll see how they treat me in about a month or two. But I feel like they'll hold up because I've heard good things about Underworks and I trust them, so there's that. And yeah, that's really all this update was, <laughs> just me wanting to show off my lovely binders. <laughs> and um, I'm sorry if I look very shiny right now, it is hot as all hell in Canada right now. Like, for those of you who are American or use the Fahrenheit, which I am not that familiar with. We've had almost 90 weather where I am right now, and it's been killer on all of us. We've just been staying inside. We're going to the lake a lot. So, yeah. Not that that was really important, this update, but so I tell you. Um, so yeah, that's really it. Um, again, those of you who find this video and don't know me, I will put the little um, a little link down below to take you to my first video, which is a small introduction, which I plan on doing a better introduction slash FAQ later. Um, and I also plan on soon starting to update um, more frequently, like every couple weeks to every week, because I am starting testosterone soon. Yay. So yeah, there's that. And that's all I really have to talk about. I talked longer than I should have. Um, I think that's all I really need to talk about. Yeah. Okay, so that is all. See you in the next video, everyone.